Let us get an overview of replication factor, another important building block of HDFS. While block size drives the distribution of large files, replication factor drives reliability of the files. If you have only one copy of each block for a given file and if the node goes down, then the data in the files is not readable. It is not only applicable with respect to one file, but all those files which have blocks on a given node will be inaccessible if the block goes down. On a typical cluster, if we have replication factor as one, that means there will be one copy of each block. If, if one node goes down, the entire cluster will be inaccessible. And hence, uh, we need to ensure that we have multiple copies so that even if few node goes down for whatever reason, the cluster is still reliable. HDFS replication uh, mitigates this by maintaining multiple copies of each block. Keep in mind that the default replication factor is 3 unless we override it. Now let's run this to get the details about this file. Let me just restart this kernel and then I'll take it further. I should be able to run this. You can see the size of the file to be 2.9 MB, which means it will have only one block. We can get the details about the block as well as the locations of the block uh, by running this. And you will see that there are multiple copies of that block. This is the area where you can see what is the average block replication for the path which is passed here. It is nothing but 2. The default replication on our cluster is also 2. The file size is 2.9 MB. There is one block associated with this file because it is a very small file and you can see that uh, it have two copies because the replication factor is 2. Now if you scroll down, I will go through further more details. As part of our lab cluster, we maintain two copies of each block because it's a lab, it is okay to have only two as replication factor. However, in production implementations, typically we have three copies with rack awareness enabled, which means the replication factor will be three with rack awareness enabled. It will actually give us more reliability when we enable the rack awareness. The default replication factor is three and it is set as part of HDFS site.xml. In our case, we have already done to save the storage. The property name is nothing but dfs.replication. If the file size is smaller than default block size, then there will be only one block as per the size of the file. In a typical configuration with n replication factor, there will not be any downtime even if n minus 1 nodes goes down in the cluster, which means on a 100 node cluster, if the replication factor is 3, even if 2 nodes goes down, the business is as usual for that cluster. However, if third node goes down, then the cluster will be inaccessible. By Having a rack awareness, we can improvise that, but I'm not getting into too many details with respect to rack awareness at this time. Once again, I'm reiterating, if replication factor is 3, cluster will be stable even if two of the nodes goes down in a cluster. I have given an example with 100 nodes in that if the replication factor is 3, even if two nodes goes down, the business will be as usual for it. As I have mentioned to you earlier, we typically configure rack awareness, which will get us uh, much better reliability. Uh, replication factor covers all the hardware failures of the host. It's not only about hard drives, but also the motherboard or RAM, or even if we have to replace the complete host also, it is fine with replication factor. Now let's uh, read this hdfsi.xml file to see the property related to replication. This is the property. You can go to etc hadoop conf hdfsi.xml and you should be able to get the details. Let us determine overall size occupied by a file when it is uh, copied to HDFS and how replication factor will actually determine the size of the file. In our case, as the file size is 2.9 MB and replication factor is 2, it will actually take 5.8 MB storage in HDFS. You can again run this command once and you can see the details here. It is 2.9 MB. This is the actual size of the file. Now, if you run this, you will be able to get the stat uh, on the file. Stat is a good command to get the details about the file. Uh, it has several options such as percentage %b, percentage %f, so and so forth. By using percentage %r, you should be able to get the replication on the file. It is nothing but 2. Percentage %o gives us the block size using which the file is copied. It is nothing but 128 MB. You can see the details here. This is not the actual block size uh, of this file itself. It is only 2.9 MB. Each block will be of size 2.9 MB. But uh, the property that is used while copying this file is nothing but 128 MB. Now, percentage %b will actually give the file size in blocks. You can actually run this and you should be able to see the details. It is nothing but 2.9 MB. As we have replication factor as 2, it will take 5.8 MB or up to 6 MB uh, to maintain this file in HDFS. Let's review another data set which is nothing but help academic data set underscore user dot JSON. It is of size 2.4 GB and it occupies 4.8 GB storage in HDFS as our replication factor is 2. If you run this, 
you can see the details about this file it is 2.4 gb we can validate properties of the file using stat command the file is available in hdfs under this location uh, first let's run this command to understand how many blocks are used you can see that the file is divided into 19 blocks because the block size is 128 mb we have seen this output in the past also when we spoke about block size also you can get other details such as average block replication the block ids as well as the block locations by going through this metadata now let's run these additional commands to get details about what is the replication factor used for this file what is the block size used for this file and what is the actual size of the file when i say actual size uh, the size in the source which is nothing but 2.4 gb so these three commands will give those three details replication factor the block size used to copy this file and the actual size of the file you can see it is 2.4 gb but the actual storage that is taken by this file in hdfs is nothing but 4.8 gb because our replication factor is 2 if the replication factor is 3 it will take 7.2 gb if it is 4 it will take 9.6 gb now when it comes to average block replication in most of the clusters it will be close to 3 it can be 2.5 or 2.75 because some unimportant files the replication factor might be defined as 2 for important files the replication factor can be defined with 4 with majority of the files the replication factor might be 3 on average the block replication will be somewhere between 2.5 and 2.75 which means if you have to copy 5 terabytes of data into hdfs with uh, approximately 2.5 uh, as replication then it takes 12.5 terabytes of storage if it is 10 terabytes then it will take 25 terabytes of storage replication factor plays pivotal role in determining the overall storage capacity of the cluster so just keep in mind the importance of replication factor from the reliability perspective and also from the cluster planning perspective